of our next guest, but last year he shot to stardom, helping the Toronto Raptors claim the NBA championship. He also won the league's most improved player award and was named a starter for his first ever NBA All-Star game this weekend. Put your hands together for Toronto Raptors. by your nickname, Spicy P, right? Yeah. <laughs> why, why is that a perfect nickname for you? Uh, I mean, I think, you know, just the way I play and, and, and the things I do on the floor, I just, you know, I just give like a type of flavor to the game. So I feel like, yeah, it's the right name. <laughs> Spice, but Spicy P isn't just your nickname, it's also the name of your new hot sauce that you actually mm. brought for us today. Yes, yes. yes. Try it in a second, but tell us about this partnership and why people can really feel good when they buy a bottle. Right. Um, I'm really excited about this, and obviously, and, and once you get in the Spicy P name, and, and I heard, you know, there's a lot of people saying, oh, what is going to be your next hot sauce? Like, we need to know. And, <laughs> um, and yeah, it was definitely something when Nando's came up and, and they wanted to do something, and, and you know, I just thought it was perfect because Nando, Nando is like from South Africa, so African connection, you know, um, I just felt like it was going to be the perfect partnership. And um, I think we did, you know, they did an amazing job with what we're doing with the, the, the hot sauce and all the details and everything, you know, they, they did great. And really excited, proud, and, and happy to be able to do that. And finally, finally, I know the fans be waiting for it, have my own, my own hot sauce. And um, to make it even, even better, uh, we was able to, to part, partner with um, uh, Right to Play you know, and, and, and have some of the, you know, the things that we saw to, to go to Right to Play, um, which is a charity that I'm uh, currently involved with, and, and um, they do an amazing job across the globe in Africa and, and you know, using uh, power of play to, to, to kind of teach kids about leadership and, and different things. So I'm um, super exciting, man, and, and I'm cool. really excited to be here. So um, you're a fun guy. We're a fun bunch of gals, we like to think. <laughs> and so what we're going to do is we obviously want to taste test all of your new spices, but okay. we have decided to pair your spices with um, some unconventional food products, at least as people yeah, on Reddit have said are good. So we've got cheesecake, we've got apples, we've got bananas, and oh we've goodness. got a donut. All right. yeah. So... First I'm going to taste it just raw. Okay, so... You can have a piece of apple. This is actually my snack. Hot sauce and apple is my uh, usual snack. I love that. Uh, this is good. I'll this let is you good. Guys hot sauce. sauce. You, li you like it? Yes. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think it's good too. It's really good. This yeah. is actually really, 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 really oh, good. This is very good flavor. I can't promise I'm gonna like it with a donut. Wow, that's it. A you actually, wait, the do is it actually the, good? You like, right? It's actually oddly weird. It's really hey. sweet donut, it's a plain one. <laughs> and it's not I bad. I might have a new snack. You're taking full credit. There you hey. go. Okay. Yeah, I know where to get it, you know? <laughs> it's, it's ready today. We have to congratulate you for something else. Not only the hot sauce, but you're a starter mm. at this weekend. <laughs> voted for you. Mm. On top of that, it was great to see because there's team Giannis and there's team LeBron. Right. So it came Giannis's turn and he <laughs> said, I pick Pascal Siakam. And then LeBron goes, what? I was, <laughs> I was gonna take him, right? So everybody wanted you. How do you, how does, how do you think your team looks going into this weekend? Um, I think it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a fun weekend. I mean, obviously it was so exciting uh, being there and, and, and I don't know, I like how she's. <laughs> 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 um, it, it was, it was going to be super fun to be there and, 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 and you know, be in front of all these, these great fans and, and play alongside all these great players and um, having a chance to be with Giannis and Joel and a fellow uh, Cameroonian. Um, you and know, Kyle. Yeah, and Kyle, obviously. <laughs> Don't forget Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's going to be an exciting weekend, man. Can't wait, can't wait to get there. And, and thank you so much for the fans for voting, you know, for Kyle. <laughs> Last 
Tariq's Tariq House, Serge Ibaka, uh, broke the internet with a giant scarf that he was wearing. Everyone was talking about it. And then this week, the Raptors broke the record for the longest winning streak in Canadian sports uh, in history with 15 straight wins. So you guys celebrated wearing giant scarves. Right. So, right. Is, I, do you think that the scarves maybe jinxed you? Just, just. I mean, I, I don't know. You can, you can probably say that. You, you can probably joke with Serge and tell him that maybe that's his fault. We, we, we lost last game, but um, yeah, it was it was super exciting, man. They, you know, OG Serge. I mean, they the characters and, and being around them has been fun, and the whole team and during this whole winning streak has been an amazing month and, and just um, going out there playing with people that you really care about and, and having fun, winning games, um, always always the best thing. And then the scarf, I mean, I feel like I had to wear it. You have to, and I have to say I had this. to, Serge, Serge made me wear the scarf. I say, everybody, good luck, Pascal, this weekend. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Pascal. Thank you.